Now to make a summary of any YouTube video with ChatGPT, this is the best method. I'm gonna go over it really briefly so that way I don't waste your time. So if you go to ChatGPT, I am using the paid version. You go to explore GPTs, search public GPTs, and then you can type in YouTube sum, right? And at that point, you're gonna see all of the YouTube summarizer options. What I like to do is I like to find one of the highest ranked ones. And sometimes I pick like the second one, it kind of depends. If I see something that looks like a more legit kind of name, you know, maybe not just someone's name, but then maybe like an actual company, I try to look at that and see what that is. So I'm gonna go with this one, YouTube video summarizer, right? So we'll go in here, we'll see what it's rated. Great, we'll hit start chat. And then from here, all we really have to do is go over and then get the link to the YouTube channel that we wanna engage with, or from the YouTube video, right? So I'll go and I'll grab this YouTube video. What I wanna do is I wanna take this and I wanna get a summary of what happens in this video. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna say, give me a summary in the style of a TLDR. And I'll explain what that is, too long, didn't read of what happens in this YouTube video. Okay, great. So I'll pass that link in there. And then when I send that, it'll go and it'll use an external site to actually engage with that YouTube video and gather everything about what was said and the content of that video. And it's gonna provide me with the summary. And what I can do from there is I can say, hey, let's change the summary in this direction or that direction, right? And some of the things that we can do is like, so I have these bullet points. So I can say, uh, make it much shorter in a two sentence breakdown. So I can say like, hey, take all that crap and then just make it all two sentences. Really break it down, okay? And sometimes it doesn't listen to your um, it doesn't listen to what, what you tell it. Sometimes it, it goes through and it, it actually makes, you know, more um, content than you wanted, right? But like this, in this case, we got two sentences, so good. So it says, um, this video demonstrates how to use Perplexity AI's academic search feature to explore the health benefits of saunas, vitamin C, and other topics by searching through published academic papers. It showcases the platform's ability to summarize findings, compare with traditional search engines, and highlights the introduction of the Copilot feature for enhanced search capabilities, right? So we can take that, run over, and then I'm gonna add in a comment here. This will be a too long, didn't watch, right? And we'll paste that in there. And this is just something that I can throw in the bottom as a comment on a YouTube video, just like, hey, if anybody wanted to see like what the whole video was and they were surfing the comments, there you go. So anyhow, I hope this video was really helpful. If this was helpful to you, please throw a like on this video if it was. If you want other videos on how to engage with AI and how to do useful things with it, definitely check out my channel where I have a whole breakdown of a bunch of other topics of how to use AI. I have all these things here for you definitely check them out, give me some feedback, and post any suggestions that you have in the comments. Anyways, have a great one.